Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about how to look good in every single picture, even if you don't have a professional full-time photographer. Hey guys, so one of my number one questions I get is how do I pose in photos? Who is my photographer? Do I have like a team? And normally I'm just really pushy and really bossy so I make all my friends or mother or father take photos for me. So I'll teach you guys how to use what you have at your advantage because honestly you don't need to hire a whole team to take some awesome pictures. Let's do this. Today I went to my favorite cafe with my angel mother because I... If you guys didn't know, I take a lot of photos on Instagram and a lot of my questions are like, who's your photographer? How do you look like that on camera? And I'm sorry, I just spent a lot of time looking at myself so I know what my angles are. Um, so that's honestly the truth. However, a lot of people are thinking I have like a full-time professional photographer, um, but it's really just me being super pushy and asking my friends or family to take photos of me. And I actually do go on a lot of professional shoots, but I also go on really amateur, like, random shoots. And that's the greatest part of knowing your angles because you're able to take photos whenever. So guys, that's what today's video is about. And stay to the end because it's about to get good. Thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. It means the world. I'm like freaking out. Ah! Okay, so if you haven't already, and if you want to join the best fam squad on YouTube, subscribe and like this video to join. Like this video. Yeah, that'd be awesome, and I really appreciate it. All right, so the first step is makeup. I mean, for guys and girls, you know, you know what you look best in, okay? I just say eyebrows are really important, like, especially for guys. Like, I actually used to do full-time portrait photography, but I think eyebrows are really important because that's like, expression-wise, like, really crucial. So, I just finished my makeup. Honestly, so I don't like to do my hair. For females, I mean, try to make your legs, you know, elongated, whatever that means. For me, it's wearing like, really short dresses because <laughs> it works. Um, and for guys, I'd say like, the more neutral your colors are, the better. Uh, and especially if you have like colored eyes, like make sure everything looks really put together so your eyes pop. Then you get your friend, you get your victim, you get your person of choice <laughs> to take the photo and you hand them the camera. Do you know what's happening today, mom? What happened? Today's video, I'm teaching you how to be a professional photographer. Me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, the first thing is keep it simple. Let them know the three main controls, the shutter. Don't, don't like, don't confuse people with the ISO, all that shit. Even just use their iPhone because you don't want people to be confused about the actual equipment. They should focus more on how you look. And guys, I think I'm not bashing on working with other photographers. I just think it's really important to know your angle. Instead of having one go-to photographer, I'd rather have like unlimited photographers due to self-confidence and the patience to teach other people how to take photos as well. So that's what's in my mind. However, I know some of you guys don't have equipment and that's why you want a photographer. But essentially guys, when you get a photographer, it's not really the equipment you're looking for. It's actually the vision and the look and how they're gonna pose you is really crucial. You know, if you got your mom and you got yourself, like that works too. So once you educate them somewhat on how to like take a picture, um, go outside, go to your location of choice. Today, I went to my favorite coffee shop or... Listen guys, for people, it's like, how do you do this in public? Like, I don't really give a sh so I kinda just do it. And I just had to look at the lighting. I had to see where it was coming in, what looked best. We ended up having to switch spots because lighting looked funny on backlight so i'd rather have natural front light step two is keep moving okay like when i take photos i just switch back from a couple poses which i'll get into but like you just have to like keep moving Guys, the key is always moving like per beat and, like if, if this is a beat of the shutter and the person's like clicking it away like you just gotta keep posing like just keep moving because you want so many options i have only like a few poses i switch back from i have two facial expressions i only have like five full body poses i just keep alternating as a full-time model um i always just keep moving and then the third thing is you want to keep an example by you and i just search model face for guys it's really important to focus on the eyebrow expression it's just that i like the eyes have so much intensity so if you're able to like squint a little bit or like kind of like 
pop out that jaw. Like, I'm not saying look at yourself in the mirror for 48 hours, but what I'm saying is just know what you like. One of my things that I'm really good at is knowing what I exactly look like on the other side of the camera. I visualize a mirror in my head and I can just like see myself. That sounds really creepy. Like an amateur photographer might not know how to pose you and know your angles. Professional people really know how to make you stand out. So if you're able to learn by yourself, it really helps with the other person behind the camera and that's just the only thing so there's only like five posts i like keep changing from so i'll teach you guys five of them all right so the first post is very classic i call it the hands on hip second pose also very easy hands on arm very very chic Ooh, little knee pop and then my third one is hands on head it's very very nice easy fourth one's kind of cute little shimmy and then the fifth one, I like to call it, I look super bored, but really mean and bossy, so it's cute. Okay, my thing is I'm really impatient, so my, my mom takes the... <laughs> my mom is detrimented by how bossy I am, but I'm getting better, right, mom? <laughs> right, mom? I'm sorry. People always wanted to know how I make this one face. It's like my resting bitch face. Um, like, here's a tutorial. The best way I can describe this look is just bored. Like, first you just have to say prunes. This is my secret hack. Say prunes, and it makes your lips like really puckered and like the perfect like, you know what I mean? So it's like prunes, and you just kind of like pose like that. Like, prunes, prunes. So that's how I do like the mouth expression. Also, use your hands to your advantage. I touch my face a lot and I keep moving kind of in the center area and I just like keep moving my torso all over. Like you just have to keep moving and looking at photos really helps. Oh, by the way, doing photo shoots for your other friend, doing a little exchange is really nice. You guys get some photos for each other. Um, that's what does well. And don't stress out the other person because I've been there and it, it's a lot. It started raining. So I was freezing because, yeah. So this is the post editing part. Choose from, as you can see, it's great to have variety. And I just kind of look through all of them. And I really like this one. So we're gonna go edit this. Like an airdrop, take the photo. I don't like to use anything fancy because I'm just like really fast. I like to move fast. What I do is edit the photo to what looks good. I'm really not that picky, but I do think coloring, filters, adjusting the exposure, um, the white balance really makes the photo look good. Follow me at jdermawangza. I try my best to literally reply to every single DM and comment, so you should go follow me and we can just connect, have a great time over Instagram. If you're watching this, like and comment um, a, a turtle emoji, and I know you came from this video. All right guys, I hope this video was helpful, and if you can follow my three little tips it should help you in your social media influencer journey. Okay, so if you're watching this right now, comment down below what you want to see next. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, by the way, whoever can comment the best comment will get a shout out in the next video. I don't know. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for watching. Hold up. If you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me and I really appreciate it.